Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we understand our question. The program has to accept the string S1 and S2 of equal length and then print the first character of S1 and second character of S2 and then the second character of sorry the first character of S2 and then the second character of S1 and then similarly the third character of S1 and fourth character of S2 and then the third character of S2 and fourth character of S1 and then similarly the program must print the characters of both the strings alternatively and we have also given a note that the length of the strings will be always even so first we are going to accept two strings string s1 and string s2 of equal length and print the first character of s1 and second character of s2 and then the first character of s2 and second character of s1 and then print the third character of s1 and fourth character of s2 and third character of s2 and fourth character of s1 similarly the program must print the characters of both the strings alternatively and we are also given a note that the length of the strings will always be even now we'll take our first test case so in this test case we have string s1 and s2 of equal length and the first two characters are n a that is first and second character then b o so first we'll have n a that is first character of s1 and second character of s2 and then we have first character of s2 and second character of s1 then we have remaining t e and l l so we'll have it in zigzag that is t l and l e that is third character of s1 and fourth character of s2 and then third character of s2 and fourth character of s1 so we'll have t l and l e and finally this will be our output and now we'll take our another test case so here we have the first two characters from s1 and s2 and so it will be in a zigzag way that is first character of s1 second character of s2 first character of s1 and second character of s2 similarly we will have third and fourth characters of s1 and s2 in a zigzag way that is c at and 6 1 and then we'll have the remaining two characters from s1 and s2 in a zigzag way that is 2 y and x3 
and this will be our output. Now let us implement our program. First we'll get the string S1 and the string S2 as the inputs. And now we have to check for each two characters of string S1 and S2. So for index in range 0 comma len of S1 and we'll have to check for two two characters for S1 and S2 and that is from 0 to len of S1. So here we have used the len of S1 because the length of S1 and S2 are same. And now we'll print the characters from S1 and S2 in the zigzag way that is S1 of index and S2 of index plus 1 and then S2 of index and S1 of index plus 1. Now we have commas between the characters which will give space. In order to remove that space, we will have separator with empty double quotes and then we will have end argument to print the characters in the same line. And let's see how this statement works. For example, if we have the string S1 as AB and S2 contains CD means we have to print AD that is if the index is 0 then first we'll have S1 of index that is S1 of 0 is A and then we have S2 of index plus 1 that is the second character of S2 and then we have S2 of index that is the first character of S2 and second character of S1. So now let us execute our program. We'll pass our first test case. So we have got N A B O T L L E as our output where we have N A B O and the T L and L E. That is in a zigzag way. Now we'll pass our second test case. So here we have got this output which is correct and you can see that they are in alternatively in a zigzag way and 2i and x3. Our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.